Welcome again, Jimny fans. It's Jono, your favorite weekend warrior, back in the garage to talk to you about what is most likely going to be the last two items that I'll be ordering from Jimny Style. So the reason that I most likely won't be ordering from Jimny Style again is not because they don't have fantastic products, but it is because I'm ordering the products from New Zealand. So for them to ship from the UK to New Zealand, it, uh, it does result in extremely high shipping costs. So in the beginning, when uh, I bought the Jimny, I was initially referred to the Jimny Style website to get all the accessories that I would need for the Jimny. Um, I did find the website extremely easy to use, really nicely laid out, and they also had a fantastic range of products. Recently, while shopping for accessories online, I have found that there are a lot more stores um, popping up that are a lot closer to either Australia or New Zealand, which then do result in um, much more affordable shipping costs and also maybe even more affordable uh, products. But I do still recommend that people use the Jimny Style website because they do have a fantastic after, um, aftermarket service. I do remember I did order one product from them that came and there was a bit of a, um, a defect with the product and they immediately credited my, an account for me and they allowed me to deduct the cost of that product from the next order that I made. So when ordering online, it does help to order from a reputable uh, source. All right, so the two products that I'm going to be talking to you about today are going to be the Apio cup holder as well as the um, roof luggage storage net. Now the cup holder I'm going to be placing on the passenger side and that's going to be for my wife when we drive around she likes to carry a large bottle of water with her. So if you have the center console storage for the Jimny you'll know that it can't uh, hold a large bottle. It's very limited to the size of what you're gonna be drinking out of. So maybe a can or a really, um, a really small bottle would fit into the center console. The roof cargo net storage is just gonna be another place that we're gonna be able to store um, items when we travel, because let's face it, the Jimny is not popular uh, because it's a car that's known to have a lot of storage. So I'm quite curious to see um, how that looks and what I'm able to fit on the inside of that. So let's get into it and take a look at how to install the two products and then I can take a look at uh, how they fit and also maybe give you my thoughts and a little bit of review on uh, the quality of, uh, of the items. So you may have noticed that I do have uh, seat covers on the Jimny. They are not very high quality, they're quite budget, but they are only temporary and I think they will uh, do the job for now. Um, it's just to uh, keep uh, hair off the seats, or dog hair and cat hair off the seats. Uh, also maybe just to protect the seats from uh, any dirt or spillage. So if you're looking for these and you're in uh, New Zealand or uh, Australia, they are available at Kmart but uh, I do recommend maybe getting a, a pair of waterproof, uh, durable seat covers. All right, so looking at the drink holder, the easiest way to take this, uh, this drink holder and to install it is just to take it as it is and throw it. And that's exactly how you install it. No, I'm just kidding. Um, let's get into the actual steps of how to install it. All right, so this is what comes in the box. These are the instructions. Um, there are no instructions in English, so I used uh, Google Translate a few times. I just took a photo, copied the text, and then popped it into Google Translate. And it uh, did help me quite a bit. Right, and these are just all the, um, the plastic parts that uh, come inside it.
It is quite neat. It does have quite a nice finish. Uh, I am looking forward to seeing what it looks like once it's fitted. But just on the initial um, overview, it does feel a little bit flimsy. So maybe once it's fitted, it will be a little bit more solid. Also in the box, you'll get these two pieces of tape, which is just going to secure the vents from moving around. So to start, you just need to pop the vents open, turn them up and position them perfectly horizontal. Then you're going to take this piece of tape and you're going to tape it at the top of the, uh, of the vent. And then what it does is it's just going to secure the, um, the vent on the inside from moving around once the uh, cup holder is secured in place. And then you'll take another piece of tape and you'll take, uh, you'll take that and you'll stick it at the bottom and that just makes it nice and secure. Next you'll take this um, rubber mount which actually just fits over the original vent and uh, this piece of plastic. You'll see that there's a little pin over here on this piece of plastic. And that is going to line up with a hole on the uh, rubber mount, which you're going to put onto the vent. And they, they fit quite nicely together. And it fits nice and snug over the, um, over the vent. Then you'll get the Allen key and the two screws that also come in the packet. Just a random bit of useless information. If you are going to be working on cars, it is helpful to have a, a silicone wedding ring. All right, uh, this clip that we're going to be attaching at the back is actually the clip that goes into the event and uh, mounts the uh, cup holder to the vent. So you'll just pop it at the back with a little um, pointy part of it facing up and you'll take the two screws and you will, I guess, loosely fasten it. You don't have to fasten it too tightly because you first want to just slide it into the vent to make sure that the clamp fits on nicely at the back. So you'll see that the um, hooks are facing downwards. So you'll slide it on. Then you can feel once it's uh, kind of clipped in place. And once that has clipped in place, you just take the Allen key and um, you can just fasten it up and make sure that it is uh, fastened in place. And you'll feel it is quite secure. Then we'll take the, um, the actual drink holder which you'll see has um, little clips in certain areas that they will clip nicely in place. So we're gonna place it onto the mount and we're just going to rotate it sideways until it clicks into place. And there we have a secure drink holder. And this is what it looks like. It's pretty neat. I quite like it. I'm really happy with it. I do still think it is a little bit flimsy. Now we'll be moving on to the, um, the luggage storage net. So here's a lame attempt of me trying to uh, make it look like you just throw boxes at the roof and that is how you, um, how you install it, which is actually not the truth. Let's get into it. Now that the drink holder is installed or the cup holder, we're going to be uh, removing these handles in the back and we're going to be placing the, um, I guess the poles or the rods where the, uh, the roof storage net attaches to. So yeah, let's get into that. Let's take a look at the steps and um, see how easy it is to fit that. All right, so the first step is to use a um, screwdriver just to remove the original grips that were in place. Then we'll grab these uh, silver clamps and you'll take the silver clamps and you'll take the little pieces of foam and you will fit them into the silver clamps so that they hold nicely onto the rod which you'll be placing in it. Then you'll take a screw, uh, one of the bigger screws. Um, you'll get two sizes, you'll get a smaller and a bigger one. And then you'll screw the clamps into place. Now the clamps need to close towards the top. Um, might look like it's gonna scrape the roof, but it's not too bad, you can still just uh, close it over the top. And then put the second clamp on. 
has the clamps are in place, you can open them up and you can place the rod securely and then you want to measure 16 centimeters either side, which you can look at the uh, picture in the instructions for that to see what you're measuring. Then uh, close the clamps up and you'll use the smaller screws to screw it in from the bottom just to hold the clamps in place. Then you'll get a rubber, sorry, this is actually a plastic uh, cover that you'll just place over the clamps to make it look a little bit neater. Um, I had to move it around a little bit, but eventually um, it does clip quite nicely into place. And then of course just do it for, uh, for both of the clamps. Obviously what you'll do is you'll just uh, secure the rod on both sides the same way I have done the one on the right hand side. So when you're putting the net together you'll just take the clamps, try and do it the way that I've done it. Um, so it can be a little bit tricky but I did eventually get it in place. Um, this net is quite nice because uh, it can be secured into the car in two ways. You can put it vertically in the back using suction cups and uh, little um, tie down loops or you can put it uh, horizontally in the roof and use it as a, uh, a roof net basket the way I have. Um, I've just popped a little picture in the side so that you can see what it looks like when it is uh, I guess used as a, um, a cargo net to stop the cargo from knocking against the door at the back or you can even use it for your pets at the back of the car. So this is pretty easy, you just um, loop the loops over the rod. Just remember the rod has a 1.5 kilogram carry capacity on both sides, so I assume that would give you three kgs total that you can put into the net. Um, so it'll probably just be soft items, maybe clothing, jackets, blankets, that type of thing. Um, and then you just fasten up as much as you can. I really do like the net. I think it is uh, quite, a, quite a high quality finish. Um, I'm pretty sure that uh, you guys will like it too. That is what it looks like viewing it from the front. All right, so I have the back seats up in the back and I have the net in the roof. So if you're curious, I'm pretty tall. I'm about, oh, I could probably sit up straight next to it, but it, is, it does hang a little bit low. So um, if you're really tall, you might not be able to sit in the back below this. Um, this is as tight as it can go. I've tightened these up as much as possible. Um, yeah, if, you, if you're a little bit shorter than what I am, I'm about 1.8 uh, meters, maybe 1.85 meters. Um, so yeah, so if you're a little bit shorter, you'll be able to sit uh, in the back of the car and you'd probably be able to get your head uh, below the uh, storage cargo net. Just, yeah, just in case you were wondering. All right, guys, so that was the um, instructions to fit the cargo net in the back. Um, I'll do a little bit of a... Um, a tour around a walk around to see how it looks but the cargo net wasn't too difficult to fit um, if you want to see any of the other videos we've installed a uh, front runner ladder to the rear of the car we've installed an ARB base rack to the roof of the car um, so you can check the uh, the video for the ladder over here you can check the, um, the video for the ARB base rack over here and if you like the Jimny style accessories you can also check a video that I'll be posting here on the uh, bottom right hand side that you can take a look at some other uh, Jimny style accessories maybe they got a few products that you would um, you would like to get great store do recommend them they do have a fantastic service and also a good range of products but hope you've enjoyed the video if you did enjoy the video um, give it a like and uh, if you want to see any of the videos that we're going to be uploading in the future maybe just uh, subscribe to the channel and then uh, we'll see you in some later videos and if you do have a Jimny and you have found that the storage in the in the car is a little bit of a problem, I am going to be doing an episode on how to um, how to manage the storage and how to actually increase the storage of the uh, Jimny and how to use your space effectively. So yeah, if you'd like to see that video, definitely subscribe and you'll be able to um, see us in the next episode, which should be the storage episode.